Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled at the 46. That brings in second and nine. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 38-yard line, first down. They'll go ground. Runs it left for a decent game. three-yard line. So the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 15. the uprights with the extra point. A seven play, 64 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, seven nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. taken down at about the 45. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Here's 
the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Shoved out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 25. sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Strike to his receiver, no good. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Second down, 10 yards to go. All on the 43-yard line. He's under some heat. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 47. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Sacked on the play. That brings us third and twelve. Third down, and they need to get it to the twenty-seven. And he's level at the forty-four. Try to change the field position with his kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 
the Bearcats with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Gets rid of this one. Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry. Get the board, Larry. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gets to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his wideout. He dives and he'll be marked down. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? They're about four yards away here on second down. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 16. big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Under heavy pressure. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. That wasn't necessarily a big hit. It was a smart play, avoiding the penalty, but making sure to get there in time to break up the score. This is the ninth play of this drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. On play action. And down he goes at the three-yard line.
This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 43. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. two-yard line from the 32-yard line it's first down complete brought down nothing doing that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver that's a great tackle at the 33-yard line down now and they need to get it to the 22 so an empty backfield with five wide receivers he launches one for the end zone and this will be caught touchdown He adds the extra point. A six-play, 77-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 14-3. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. Just about ready to call a first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. And he is drilled at the 30. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. From their own 30 yard line, third down. The Bearcats are going to call their second timeout. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Six. The Bearcats are just cruising through this first half for be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. They got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. 
The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. And he just gets rid of it. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike four. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Sacked for a loss. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. He wants it all. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. So we've played two quarters. The Bearcats lead 17-3. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Tackle 
tackle made right around the 32 yard line. That'll bring up 32. He's at the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 11. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From the 11-yard line, first down. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Mike four, coming to you, coming to you. They put everyone up on the line. And he's tackled at the one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they're in. Touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. But these guys won't give up. That 14-point deficit this offense was facing a minute ago can disappear really fast, especially with all the time left in this game. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And off to the right. Runs outside for a nice game. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. There's a play fake. They bring the quarterback down. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. an open field tackle from their own 47 yard line first down he's tackled at the 48 that's good for a gain of one yard that brings up second and nine He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Now 
it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And they'll get him in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. He's in for the touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 74 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Looking for the corner. Makes it to the 34. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Darts it to the left. Keeps his eye on it. Makes the catch. And he will score. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Three down and one to go. The Bearcats with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. down 10 yards to go ball in their own 47 and they make the stop around the 50 yard line Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes at the 45 yard line. Number eight on the tackle at the 45 yard line. That makes
makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they hit him in the backfield. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. his way to the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 45. That makes it first and ten. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle around the 44-yard line. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down around the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. He launches one for the end zone. Almost picked off. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. They'll get him for a loss. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Throws, and it's knocked away. Number four, the intended receiver on the way. Fourth down. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. What a memorable night it's been for this wideout, Kurt. Well, I don't think there's any question. He's getting the best right now of this group of defensive backs. You know, he's a tough matchup physically one-on-one. -on -one. And he's got good hands. And he battles for every single throw that the quarterback puts up into the air. So, so far, so good for this receiver. He's blowing big holes through them on a clip of over 20 yards of grab. And one reason his team is in the lead is because of his efforts. A score here might effectively end this one. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The 
defense calls a timeout. And that was their first timeout. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. He makes his way to about the 48. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Got the corner. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 48-yard line, second down. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. So that's going to do it. The Bearcats get the win here. 24-20. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.